thousands of people all over this country. It's just our good fortune that it appears to be highly anti-psychiatric in nature. This is the uh, lake bed area, and this morning I left from, I think, this spot right here. Um, and uh, actually is that one. And that's where, uh, <laughs> that's, where, that's where Jim drove by and was like, hey, what's going on, everybody, you know? What's going on with the bus, everything okay? So I appreciate him checking on me, and also, clearly I appreciate the tour, because that was awesome. Um, Hopefully, going down this way, there's gonna be a paved road because the other way just made me a little nervous. All right, guys, I'm in a, uh, the uh, neighboring town called Cedarville. Uh, I was on probably in between half a tank and three quarters, so I figured I have no idea where I'm going. I don't know where the next place to fill up is, and gas is only 265, so um, that's not a bad price. So we were just filling up Dan the Thirsty Adventure Bus with some good old-fashioned diesel right here. Oh, and I just had to mention, so the hot spring I was at was way across the valley over there, and now I'm on the California side, and I just wanted to point out how vastly different the, uh, the, the land is. Um, obviously, this is all farmland over here. The other side was all barren and dry. This side is uh, closer to the mountains. There's a lot more water over here, and it's an entirely different climate. Not really sure what IMU initializing means, but it says don't move the aircraft. By the way, I'm parked outside of a place called Fly Geyser. Uh, maybe I'll pull a picture off the internet. It was bought by Burning Man, and uh, there's a bunch of uh, no trespassing signs and stuff up there. I just moved the bus and relocated. Um, oh, here we go, ready to fly. Relocated a little bit, and then I saw uh, a truck like pull in so um, let's uh, try and fly over there and see see what we can see they say let's turn on or let's blast the drum. Success. I got fairly close to the geyser using the drone and I would say it's maybe like yeah, I don't know half a mile away uh, it's off in the distance I would point at it but you guys couldn't even see but it's funny I did see the dude with his red uh, sweatshirt on and his white pickup truck down there like scoping it out um, so I just uh, hit the return home because it's got low battery so I'm gonna say I am satisfied. I would like to see it in person, but after this, uh, I'm gonna try and get as far away as possible. Uh, Cause uh, yesterday, I, I think I mentioned I hung out for like 36 hours in that same spot. So 
Where's this drone? Um, yeah. So we're gonna we're gonna haul some butt. I just pulled up at the uh, the gate here, and here's the uh, the white truck guy. I'm gonna ask him if I can go take a picture. That there is no such thing as a bad boy or girl. No way. She agreed. We're going in. They say let's turn on or let's blast the joint. Looks like I am not the only person who wants to uh, come and visit this magical place. Uh, however, as you saw, it is extremely fragile. It is uh, unpredictable, uh, could be unsafe. Um, and, you know, these types of places, I'm like hesitant to share this because these kinds of places won't exist if if people come and trample on it. Um, and you know, it's it's unfortunate that people can be so selfish and destructive. Like just like you saw that corner part that's broken. Someone must have tried to climb up there for, I don't know, a selfie or something. I, I mean, it just, it blows my mind. I mean, clearly there's like a little pathway and this thing has been existing for 60 years plus. So why someone wanna, wanna climb something so beautiful and destroy it is beyond my comprehension. So, um, yeah, don't, don't come here until it's finished. And, uh, you know, just like I did, you know, if, you know, flew a drone over it, like, maybe just this is one of those things where you <clears throat> experience it, the best way to experience it is with pictures and videos and not actually coming here, because it is so fragile. All right, so on the outskirts of town over here, seems to be a little place where all the burners keep their little Burning Man motorhomes, and someone has like a full-on semi-trailer, which is awesome, super awesome. Um, <laughs> There is quite a few, but you know what I don't see? I don't see any school buses over there. All right, you guys know what time it is. It's time to hit the road. From struggles and being different Built a foundation of people willing to share opinion Not in politics, religion on appeal to me Why we always trying to put a label on a human being Death pills, young boys who run drills Old heads with no... I am uh, parked for the night. I found a small little gas station, which I th believe is on an Indian reservation. I would say kind of uh, midway uh, through Nevada. Uh, today was amazing. <laughs> I had two very friendly strangers invite me onto property, which I guess both uh, they didn't own, but they, they had access to and they granted me permission, so I'm extremely grateful to the both of you. You made for a very, very fun day. Uh, hopefully a fun video as well. <laughs> and, um, yeah. Uh, just gonna cook up some food, probably turn the camera off, and, um, yeah. That's about it. So, uh, I'll see you guys, uh, manana, and, uh, take care.